but I didn't think I could be beat. I was always like, man, if I can get myself in this kind of shape, nobody can touch me. That's what my whole life was dedicated to for you know a lot of my years. I mean, I trained from, basically I knew at 12, I wanted to be a bodybuilder, be holding it, that trophy in my hand, you know, that was my ultimate goal. You want people to see you as like the ultimate. They're not prepared for that. Ronnie was standing in my way. They cannot work me. That's the mentality that I always had and I always thought, and for the most part, it kind of like worked out that way. I was able to dominate for a long time in the sport. Like the whole advertisement was Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler show, because they knew it was going to be one and two. I was battling probably the greatest Mr. Olympia we ever seen. He was a power trainer and probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, bodybuilder ever. And there was a lot of money at stake. You know, we were the two highest paid guys. We signed the biggest contracts in probably bodybuilding history ever. And that started the whole Ronnie J era. It was the Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman battle. It's all, it was a one two show every year. We were the best. I mean, we were the draws. And that's when I think bodybuilding was at its peak. Oh, here comes, here comes the enemy. Ronnie Coleman. This is the Ronnie Coleman right here. You ready? Big Jay. I'm finna suit up. You ready to do it again? I would like to see what he looked like and he would like to see what I looked like because it's like, okay, what do we have to do for this year to get over this guy? Where was the closest competitor exposing my physique? And that's what continued to make me work harder. Ron Coleman, on the other side, Jay Cutler. I've always prepared myself to be the very best that I possibly could be. I felt like I always needed to be presentable. I needed to have a certain amount of size. I needed to appear the next year better than before. And peaking the body was very difficult. But I went into every show with the mindset that I was going to win. I never doubted that I was ever going to lose. I just had to get through probably the greatest bodybuilder of all time. All right. All these guys sitting around here talking about what they're going to do. Hey, this is the show. Talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hell, we can do something right now. Talking all that him being 300 pounds. Hell, I'm 300 pounds too. What you want to do? Who wants to see your blue top? I just want to get this show on the road, man. Let's do it. Bring it on. Let's do it. Once you find a winning formula for something, you don't go away from it. You continue to do what it took to get you to win all those other titles. I'm gonna be the best anyone's ever seen on me. We gotta hear from you. Ronnie, you're ready this weekend? Ready. Bigger and better than last year? Always. I live for these. It was a war. It was a battle. There's gonna be another round, and we'll see what happens then. And I had to be extremely big in order to win. We all have our poses that are stronger than others. Let me translate that for you. This is tired bodybuilding talk, basically. He said he can whip Ronnie's ass. They want to mess with me. I ain't got nothing to say. Exactly. With my body dude. Yeah. I'm the only one that can go toe to toe with this guy. He's a monster, but I can get him now. No one believes it. If anyone can do it, I can do it. I brought my own weapons of mass destruction. I come to do a lot of damage.
the second place finisher. Ah! Jake Cutler! Rumor has it that you are about 290 pounds right now. You put on a lot of muscle this last year. I want to know, can you take down the champ? I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could, right? The second place finisher, Jay Cutler! I remember mean, when I lost, I was in shock. I didn't think I could be beat. You know, I have great respect for Ronnie, but you know, people say this guy is unbeatable, and I don't agree with that. Everyone's beatable on a certain day. I feel the fear of losing was what drove me more than anything. You know, I remember Ronnie saying, oh, no one's going to beat me, but I looked over at him, and it was me and him standing there, and I saw how nervous he was every time. So I think that fear is a big motivating factor on why you continue to work harder and be better. Being the champion is a lot of pressure like that. You're the number one man in the show. It's yours to win or lose. How do you feel? Oh, I live for this. I'm having the time of my life. We're going to see what's, what's, what's going on around here. There's a war going on around here. That's what we got going on. Jay Cutler said you were 100% beatable. What do you say about that? I say Jay Cutler's smoking crack. He ain't in his right mind. Have to chase you out, brother. You know what happened. You know I'm what gonna happened. have to chase you out. You really get your head kicked. I didn't beat the best Ronnie Coleman ever. I don't want people ever to think like, oh, well, Ronnie was at his best and Jay was at his best. It's not the case. I just was better that day. You know, time was creeping up. He was going for his record number nine. There's never been that rivalry like that. I think that's what bodybuilding misses nowadays.